Hello everyone and welcome to fall decorating with me. I am so happy that you're here. My name is Michaela and I enjoy mixing antique pieces and modern pieces together when I'm decorating. If you are into thrifting or antiquing, you know that you just never know what you're going to find. So it's nice to be able to take some modern pieces to fill the gaps and to just add a little bit of a different look. One thing that I love about antiques and vintage things is that I feel like there's always an extra bit of charm when you bring those pieces in and finding them is really part of the fun. It's like a treasure hunt. <laughs> but anyways, I really hope that you enjoy watching me put all of this together. It has been quite a while since I have been decorating, so it took me a pretty good amount of time to get all of this done so I did pre-decorate all of these things and then I just took it out and showed all of you what it looked how I put it all together because oh my goodness it took me forever to get all of this figured out and deciding what I wanted to do but I also found some prints for free online um, like the one that I just showed you so I'm gonna link those below in case any of you want to print those off for free you can add them to your frames and add a little bit of a vintage touch to your fall decor. So now that we have finished decorating the first hutch, we're moving on to the coffee table. And this potpourri here is something we made homemade. And then I put Sammy's little snackies here in this container, which he really likes. He goes to the coffee table a lot and he boops it with his nose to tell us that he would like to have a snack. <laughs> so we give that to him. But as we're here watching all of this being done, I wanted to know, are you a fan of pumpkin things or not? Because I know that a lot of fall is about pumpkin flavored stuff, but I am actually not that big, a fan, big of a fan of pumpkin. So I know a lot of us are like pumpkin spice lattes and pumpkin pies. I don't really care for those that much. Um, I like maple flavors and vanilla flavors better when it comes to, you know, like seasonal flavors. So let me know down in the comments, are you a big pumpkin fan or are you like me and you prefer some of the other flavors?
So I went to an estate sale a little over a month ago, maybe a month and a half, and I got so many vintage tablecloths and runners, and I've just been thinking of ways that I could use them. So I decided to drape it over this old chair. We don't really sit in this chair often. It's mostly here just because it's pretty and I got it for $2 at a yard sale. I still can't believe I paid that much. But anyways, um, I put that tablecloth there and I actually like how that turned out. I thought it was kind of vintage and a little bit unique looking. And now we're moving on to my hutch. This hutch is actually from the Victorian, Victorian era. Um, when I looked it up on Google Lens, it said that it was probably from the late 1800s to early 1900s. So I cannot believe I'm getting to decorate this for this fall. It was kind of challenging because it, is, because it is a dark color. So I went ahead and lit up some of the candles and stuff in hopes that you could see it better. Just because it's so dark and I don't have a lot of light in this area. So I hope that you can see all of this okay. This is not really related to fall, but I did change this lamp out here on my end table just because I thought for some reason this one looked a lot better. I got this lamp from an estate sale for $5, so it's one of my most favorite finds. I think it's so beautiful. And I didn't do a lot to my couches, I just added some pillows that were a little bit more fall looking. And this is where I put another one of those vintage tablecloths I was talking about. I thought it looked kind of pretty on the back of the couch here and it gave that grandma feeling which I really like. I personally think grandma core style is pretty cool looking. <laughs> but you can see it has a little bit of damage but that's okay. I still think she's beautiful.
watch all of the candles lit up and all of the lights plugged in, I wanted to share a Bible verse with you. It is from Psalm 1 and 3. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither, and all that he does, he prospers. So this verse, what it brought to my mind is that we see the fall colors and they're also beautiful, but we know that inevitably all of the leaves are gonna fall from the trees and then we're gonna be left with the bare look of winter. And it just made me take a moment to be really thankful that we have a father that does not change. God stays the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is there for us yesterday, he's there for us today, and he will be there for us tomorrow and every single moment after that. just want to say thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed today's video I invite you to subscribe and like if you enjoyed. God bless each and every one of you and I will see you next time. Bye!